Hello YouTube, we're bored. It's supposed to get up warm today. It's not bad in here. It's supposed to hit maybe 60 degrees today, but the bad part is the next three days it's going to be down in the single digits again. You know what this weather's like. Let's clean this up. It's gotten rusted. I braised holding stuff here and then sprayed water. See where it's gotten rusted. We're thinking about maybe spraying some clear, clear spray on it when we're done. But we never did finish this. See the factory paint in there? So, let's clean this up. Nothing super, super shiny. Let's just get it all cleaned up and presentable looking. I mean, my tools are usually better shaped than this. So, that's what we're going to do here for a project. Look how nasty that is. Stay tuned for more. Okay. Hope you can hear in my dust mask on. We need to, we need some uh, sanding drums. This is how I get these off. If they're shot, or even if they ain't, if I can reuse them, I'll stick my screwdriver in there. You can rip them right out of there. Loosen the screw up good. And I'll clamp them right here with the vice grips because they never go any further than that into the rotary tool. So it does not matter if I chew that shank up right there. There's a quick tip for you. Or a knife, be careful with the knife. But I always keep some extras, and you see how many of these I have. I have five of them, so I've always got a couple old ones for just getting some of the work done, some for fine finish work. But I want two good ones before I'm done, so there you go. There's a quick tip. Get your screwdriver there. Loosen that screw up the center. Get, get in there and pry that thing up. I mean, if you wet that rubber piece a little bit, just spit on it. And get your roller started and push down on the desk. I have luck doing that. I get started and I'll push it down on the desk to get the roller on there. I think you know what I mean. You know, it's already started on there. And then give it a good shove to get it on there all the way. Okay, back to work. Well, we're going to paint it orange. We just don't want to paint it red or blue. That's gray, flat gray in there, same as primer, so we'll be back when it's done. And we are done. The paint's not dry yet, but we're done. It's a lot more orange than it is on there. Look at this old bottle. I took a picture of it. Old school. That paint I've had for years. I like to find them antique bottles I was talking about once. They're like cut glass. They're a different brand name. If I ever find them in my old shop, I'll make a video on them. They're very old paint. That's like cross hatch pattern on there. At least I primered it. Okay, I forgot what size what, so we're going to let this thing dry. Thanks for watching. Look for the pictures.